This video explains how to edit the baseline and the boundary of stairs in ARCHICAD. As presented in other videos, ARCHICAD stairs are generated based on a baseline. When you select a stair, you can see that its baseline is marked with a thick polyline. You can also activate the View, on-screen view options, Stair Baselines command to toggle the display of stair baselines. These are displayed using the same graphics as wall reference lines. A thick black line with an arrow showing the upward direction of the stair. Stairs also have a boundary. The boundary means the two polygonal contours on the left and right side of the stair. The starting and ending risers are not included in the definition of stair boundary. By editing the stair baseline's segments and nodes, we can modify the stair baseline geometry and thus the type of the stair generated. By editing the stair boundary, we can adjust that generated stair's 2D and 3D geometry to the exact desired shape. If the baseline is set to be on the left or the right side of the stair with no offset, the baseline coincides with one of the boundaries of the stair. Let's activate the arrow tool and hover over the baseline of the stair. The info tag will display the information on the baseline of the stair. By pressing the tab key, we can switch to the boundary of the stair as indicated by the info tag. Using this method, we can pre-select either the stair baseline or the stair boundary, and then click to select it for further editing. When the baseline is selected, you will see only a single thick blue polyline in the selection. When the boundary is selected, you will see two thick polylines. You can also select the boundary by clicking the other polyline on the other side of the stair. Multiple pet palette commands are offered for both the baseline polygon and the boundary polygon depending on whether you click a segment or a node of the polygon. When the stair baseline is selected and you click an end node, the pet palette's top row contains commands specific to the clicked node, while its bottom row contains commands available for all element types just like on the pet palette of any other elements. The Move Node commands lets you move the end node to another position. The Offset All Edges command lets you offset the whole baseline. This may have limitations on how far the baseline can be offset in order for ARCHICAD to still generate a valid stair. The Continue Stair command lets you add additional segments to the stair baseline, and the stair will be regenerated based on the change in its baseline geometry. ARCHICAD will try to make as few changes to the existing stair steps as possible. The Rearrange Steps command lets you increase and decrease the number of steps on the first and last run of the stair. As you move the cursor, graphical feedback shows how many steps of the stair will be rearranged. If you add one or more steps to the first run, the last run will be the equal number of steps shorter, and vice versa. When you click any of the intermediate nodes, the top row of the pet palette offers the Move node and Offset All Edges commands, which work in the same way as in End nodes. The Fillet or Chamfer command lets you fillet or chamfer the corner of the baseline located at the clicked node. Depending on the geometry of the stair baseline, if the entered value is not large enough, it may not result in a valid stair. In this case, no changes will be made to the stair geometry. If a large enough value is entered, the change will be performed on the stair. The Turning Type Options command lets you modify the turning type assigned to the clicked node. For example, you can change it from automatic landing to a winder. Each turning type has various options to control the riser offset. 
the number of risers or goings, etc. Consequently, if the stair you have just created does not show the desired geometry, you can always modify the type of your baseline segments and nodes to achieve the desired result. When you select the baseline and then click a stair baseline segment, the top row of the pet palette will contain commands specific to segments. The first six commands are polygon editing commands and work the same way as in the editing of other polygonal element types. These commands are insert new node, curve edge, edit segment using tangent, offset edge, offset all edges, and extend neighbor edges. The Select Segment Type command lets you change the segment type of the clicked segment. The four possible options are the same as the ones available during input. Flight Landing Winder with equal angles and Winder with equal goings. When creating a U-shaped stair, for example, you may create three run segments for fast input. Then you can simply select the baseline and modify the segment type of the middle segment to landing. This way you don't have to pay attention to always switching to the proper segment type when inputting the stair baseline polygon since you can modify it later. The last command on the top row of the Stair Baseline Segments pet palette is available for both baseline segments and boundary segments. This is the Boundary Segment Settings command, and it lets you hide or show segments of the Stair Boundary Polygon. To hide segments, select the Hide Segment radio button in the appearing dialog box. You can apply the change to only the clicked segment, two segments on the same side, or to all segments of both sides of the stair boundary. This is useful in achieving the exact desired floor plan representation for the stair boundary. When any segment of the boundary has been hidden, a new command appears on the pet palette when you edit that boundary. This is the reset boundary command and it will reset the boundary geometry and 2D representation to their default values, so hidden boundary segments will be visible again. When you select the stair boundary and click any of its end nodes, the top row of the pet palette will offer the move node and offset all edges commands, which work the same way as when editing other polygonal element types. When an intermediate stair boundary node is clicked, the top row of the pet palette offers these same two commands, plus the fillet or chamfer command, which works just in the case of editing stair baseline nodes. When you click a stair boundary segment, the top row of the pet palette will offer almost the same commands as for stair baseline segments. It will offer the same six polygon editing commands, and they will work in the same way as editing stair baseline segments. It will also offer the Boundary Segment Settings command for hiding and showing segments of the stair boundary. If the boundary polyline has been modified, it will also display the Reset Boundary command for resetting the boundary geometry and visibility to their default values. Modifying the boundary will affect the geometry of the treads, risers, and the structure of the stair. They will be regenerated based on the modified geometry of the boundary. Therefore, when creating a stair with an unusual floor plan geometry, approximate the shape by defining the stair baseline and generating the stair, then modify the boundary to achieve the desired custom 3D and floor plan shape.